Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutch Gaming and one last video on the channel for Reign of Arrows going over crafting the gear that you need to craft to get comfortably clearing red maps and get your first two void stones. This is not going to go through end game gear. This is really how to get geared as cheaply and easily as possible to then basically clear your atlas. So we're going to go through every item slot, how you can craft it, what materials you use and where you're going to get the bases from. So we'll start with the weapon, which is going to be a spine bow. These will highlight in my loot filter that's linked to the guide. So you should have a stack of these if you've picked them up. Ideally, you want it to be item level 75 or higher. So that would be a boss from like a T6 plus map drop in. If it's an item level lower, it means you can only roll T3 elemental. And we may as well give it the chance to hit T2. So I'd recommend crafting this bow once you've got a base that's item level 75. Uh, if you do expedition, Rog also might sell you a base but it's really important that it's either a spine bow or an ivory bow. All you can do to craft these bows is use a shrieking essence of wrath. These are about two to three chaos. If you follow my recommended atlas tree, you'll have these on your atlas anyway, so you have them. You can also use hatred and anger. I just like to use wrath because I want to guarantee big lightning damage because it makes Trinity much easier to keep up. All you're looking for essentially is this, which will roll automatically, and then a tier four roll of either added fire or added cold and then with either one open suffix so that you can craft crit chance or crit chance already on the bow i'm in a tool called craft of exile which essentially if i click i can get it to try 10,000 of these crafts and it will tell me how often it is successful and then it will give you a ratio and a cost so we're going to start this and it will quickly whiz through to 10,000, and it will tell me that this was essentially one in eight and at the moment that is two chaos per essence so it's going to cost me 16 chaos to get this bow crafted and then you'll just craft crit onto it which would be two to four chaos more so if this was the prices it would be 20 chaos i expect these might be three chaos each at league start so that would up to between 25 and 30 chaos if you get to maps early this is also a super easy way to make loads of money because people will pay like 40 to 50 c for very average bows so once you have that craft we'll just go into the first one and this is the bow we've got flat lightning t4 cold and then two junk mods that we don't really care about so what we'll do is move this to the emulator and add our crit chance it's up to you which one you do if you have this one it's worth crafting the crit chance with attributes but it's an exalt for the higher rank one and we're not going to have this bow for that long so i would just go crit chance and go as high as you get this one i think is for chaos but i think it's worth it for 27 percent. so what this gives us is an LEDPS bow that's around 550 and has got a base crit chance of 8.26%. This is ample to be able to clear your Atlas once you get your other gear together. If you get lucky and you actually roll crit naturally and you have an open suffix, you can craft attack speed. Or if you have an open prefix, I recommend crafting elemental penetration. But this is kind of the bow you need. Very, very simple. The build will feel a tiny bit clunky with this because 1.4 attacks per second is not the best. But it's all you need really to get your Atlas clear. You don't need a better bow than this. So let's move on to the quiver. The quiver, I would recommend again using essences, but we're going to actually look for a base on trade for this. So what we're going to do is we'll firstly go and set up the trade search, which I'll put in the video description. And we're looking for quite a few different quivers. Now, unfortunately, with quivers, you can't really say what base type. So we're just going to have to say quiver. And we're going to be looking for quivers with something fractured that is useful to us. So you don't necessarily need to worry about how to do this, but I'll explain it as I go along. Tilde, which is like the wiggly squiggly line, wild card. So whatever you type in here, it's going to search anything that matches that. It doesn't have to be like exact. So we're just going to do fracture, crit multi, and bow. This is ideally the fracture you want to get. And last league, they were dirt cheap. They were like a few chaos. So let's just say we want minimum of 28 crit multi. If they're too expensive, we might want something else. So we might want to fracture life, for example. So let's say fracture life. And then we're going to go, I want at least 75 life on my quiver. And then you might say, right, the other thing I'm happy with is damage of bows or attack speed. Let's do attack speed. So you might want fractured attack speed, and I don't know what this rolls on quivers, but let's say you want 14. And then as a final one, you might say I'm happy with damage with bows. I probably wouldn't go damage with bows because it's very easy to get this stat with an essence. But let's say you did and you wanted a minimum of 40. All you need to do then is you go on here, click count and one. So it's basically just going to look for quivers with one of those. The other thing we'll do is we'll put in an item level because I want it to be at least, say, 
a half decent item level and not like level 50 so we'll say 72 and we don't want it to be corrupted and that's essentially your search done that needs to be fractured so let's go and have a search oh i need to change, set my league to standard so we're going to have a ignore the prices because it's standard that could be really expensive um and then all you're looking for is a base that isn't terrible it doesn't have to be good just not detrimental so even this with three to five fire damage if it was much cheaper than others is well worth going for but something like fizz's chaos is not any good to us um blazing arrow pivot is fine this is yeah okay it's crit chance accuracy at least gives us something any damage with attacks as you can see there's loads of different quivers that we can buy so once you've got this item let's say you did get a crit multi item then again we're going to craft with essences so i'm going to cut but i'm very quickly going to build this item in craft of exile so this would be your quiver. We've regaled it to make it rare and it's crit multi with bows. Really, you can craft with a variety of different essences, but again, essence crafting is the best way to get a decent bow. The ones I'll recommend crafting with are Shrieking Essences of Torment. They give really big flat damage to bows. Shrieking Essences of Woe. They give big increased percentage of bow damage. You can use Zeal for attack speed. They're kind of the three I would use. You can also use the other two essences that give flat elemental damage. And then really you're just crafting these until you get maybe one more mod that you like with an open suffix or prefix to craft. So let's say we are going to craft with essences of torment to get some lightning damage. We'll do tier two, which is shrieking. And then you would just go and start hitting your essences. So this one, we got some resist, small damage of bows. I would roll over that. That's not very good. That looks nearly exactly the same, but not good. This has got small crit strike chance. So I'd go again. This one, small cold damage, so we go again. This one, however, has turned out pretty decent. It's got accuracy, crit chance, big life, lightning damage to attacks, and an open prefix. So for your prefix, you can only just craft something like elemental damage with attack skills. And then your quiver's done. That's a really decent quiver. It's got big life, huge lightning damage, multi, crit chance, accuracy, and elemental damage. And you will get something within 9 to 10 essences that's a really, really big upgrade on what you're probably using. So let's go and we will make this trade search and we will put it into a notepad so that you've got something uh, to go by so you can just quickly use that search. So this is Quiver. Okay, let's go on to another fractured item. So let's go on to jewellery. So for your jewellery, I recommend you buy whatever base you can afford. Two stone ring would be great, but if you can only get, say, the pure fire or pure lightning resistance bases, they're fine. We're essentially looking for a ring with some sort of fractured resistance on it. So at the moment, we're not too worried about Chaos resistance because it's going to get really expensive if we want to get that in the build. So you can run something like an Amethyst Flask if you need a little bit of Chaos Res. But what we're going to look for are rings with big, flat elemental resistances on it. This can be either one single modifier or it could be um, all elemental resistances. So we're going to go in and we're going to go to rings. What you can do is specify a more specific ring. So let's say we want two stone ring and then we'll leave those as they are. And we want fractured all elemental resistances at 15. Or, and don't go too big because they're going to get more expensive. But these should be cheap because there should be loads of them dropping. So we'll go fractured cold resistance, 37. We'll go fractured lightning the same. If I could type, again, we'll do 37, and then we'll do fire. And we'll do 37. And we don't care about anything else because we're going to be crafting this item anyway. So we're just going to go count of one. An item level, honestly, doesn't matter that much. So let's set it at 72. And then you just search, and it's going to whiz through and search for these items. I think there's going to be items like this for 2 to 3 chaos. If they're too expensive, just lower kind of what you want on these items. So let's say we wanted this ring. So again, we're going to have to go to Craft of Exile and build it because I don't think it lets you copy and paste, or at least last time it didn't. So we'll go and quickly make this item. So now what we're going to do is prepare to be able to run Heries because we're going to need some attributes. So again, we're Essences, which hopefully you've been farming. And we're going to go and use one of each on our two rings. So we've got two rings like this. The first one, you're going to go and you're going to use an Essence of Spite, which gives intelligence. So again, Shrieking is fine. And you're basically going to... I said, well, there's no picture there. You're basically just going to spam this until you get anything else that's decent 
with an open prefix to craft life. So again, you might use seven or eight of these, which is why I recommend farming your own essences. Um, so we're going to keep going through until we get something that we're happy with. So this is perfect. It has lightning resistance, all early res, got our intelligence, fizz damage to attacks. We're just going to go and craft life. Or if you want to be brave, you can craft um, elemental damage with attacks. And that's essentially your ring finish. You could obviously recraft that if you wanted to until you get a higher tier. And you can do exactly the same with your other ring, but you're going to use essences of rage, which are strength. So if we just go to essences again, just to show you. So you've got essences of rage here, which give strength. If you've got your attributes elsewhere, what you can do is craft in harvest and reforge chaos. Harvest and life force at league starts should be relatively inexpensive this gets more expensive later on because it uses yellow life force but you'd essentially just use reforged chaos and it always guarantees some form of chaos resistance so straight away that actually is a pretty decent ring so t2 life very low le damage of attacks pretty good mana res fire res chaos resistance and this is the way you start eking chaos resistance into the build but i think for just cleaner at this don't worry about it if you get the old chaos death you get the old chaos death it's softcore it doesn't really matter and um, so again we'll go in and we will save this trade put it into our notepad and this will go into the video description so now we have our bow quiver and two rings body armor realistically you want to be buying a five link so all you're going to do is spam any resistance essence life essence whatever stats you want on that body armor until you hit a decent armor so we're not going to cover off the body armor the boots you're going to want your three-step assault boots so we're not going to cover those and the amulet you're going to want here is truth. So again, there's nothing to cover there. So what this leaves us with is gloves and a helmet. And then lastly, the belt. So we'll go and do these three items. The belt should be very easy to get a good belt for cheap because we're going to use a heavy belt, which not a huge amount of people use at endgame because you obviously can access Stygian visors. You can run a Stygian, it is better. But again, if we run a heavy belt, we can pick up a cheap fractured base, which guarantees us one stat. The reason we're doing this is when you run Hiri's and your boots, resistance actually becomes a little bit of a problem to cap if you've got subpar gear in any slots. At least if we're buying fractured resistances, we're guaranteeing one big resistance on it. We then use an essence with another one on it, and that sort of slams two big resistances on an item. If you get to the point where you're capped, then obviously start crafting with things that give either life or damage instead. So let's go over to the gloves. So for your gloves, I'd recommend definitely slink gloves because they're the highest evasion base. And we're going to just use exactly the same, but removing the elemental resistances. So this obviously isn't a ring, so we can get rid of that. So you just search. And then again, they'll come. They're going to be expensive because it's standard. Everything's expensive on standard. If they are expensive, you can just not go slink gloves. Let's just go gloves. And let's say we want minimum dexterity or evasion because we don't want a really bad base of 180 and then at least it'll cut out the really rubbish bases and then we go and it'll give you cheaper ones because the bases are slightly lower which at this situation is fine uh, and then what we're going to do with this because we've got our int satisfied from a ring we have our strength satisfied from our ring i personally think you've got two options for crafting your gloves you either use another resistance essence so this would be wrath hatred or anger until you get anything decent and then you can just craft up to 70 life on the bench or you can use essences of zeal to give big attack speed and then again craft life so we won't go through this in craft of exile because it's super super simple you buy your gloves if they're not rare you use an regal orb on it and then you just use the essence you want until you get a pair of gloves that either hit big life or you can craft big life and this is kind of the way you're going to do the helmet as well and then we'll go and do a belt. But again, we are going to keep exactly the same stats for the belt. So we'll change this onto heavy belt, keep the stats the same. And then again, we'll search. And as expected, even in standard, there's ones that are pretty cheap. And you are going to do the same with this. The issue with belts is you can't roll life and life you can only craft up to 55. So if you want one with big life, you're going to hit one resistance essence until you hit that big life. And then you essentially settle for them. The other option is you use another resistance essence until you hit either strength or another resistance and then you craft life. If you hit life, you can then craft elemental damage with attacks. Again, we won't go through these examples because they're super simple. If you've got cold resistance fractured, you roll either wrath or anger essences. 
and so you either hit life and craft elemental damage with attacks or you hit decent with an open prefix and you craft life that's kind of it for the belt it's very straightforward so for the helmet guess what we're doing exactly the same again what you can do is if you start capping out is you can actually start crafting them with the chaos resistance essences so if you get to your gloves and your helmet and you're already resistance capped or you're going to be with just one resistance then i would get that resistance fractured and use chaos resistance essences to craft your items because you're going to be able to get 30 to 35 from one essence if you can get that on two items that's half of your chaos resistance for your entire build solved which is pretty massive but you're unlikely to get them fractured because they're going to be expensive so we'll go we'll just add fractured life into this one so in this one we're going to go lion pelt if they're too expensive just drop down to a slightly lower base you're going to keep the same one again but we're going to add fractured chaos in so again helmet search see what turns up and again this is standard so everything's going to be way 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 overpriced but again you're going to get items starting to drop for your helmet personally i would roll with the biggest life essence you have which is essences of greed if you've already got one resistance you can always craft the other one on if necessary um, the good thing about helmets even on evasion bases intelligence can roll naturally so you might get lucky and get something like that normally on an attack build you might look to get some accuracy in but we're going to have a level 30 precision so that is going to give us all the accuracy that we're ever going to need so we will copy this the only thing you will need to do is obviously change a league because you're not going to want to search in standard but there are no other leagues available for me to select at the moment uh, and that's kind of it once you have all that gear together you're going to breeze through your atlas you're going to have enough dps to take bosses down they might take five to ten seconds you're going to have enough life because you're going to have a life on pretty much every item and you're going to have your resistances nicely shored up with hopefully a little bit of chaos resistance to back that up and then with the rings you've got your strength and your intelligence and um, to make sure your character is nice and comfy if you do this you're going to have gear similar to the set that i've put in the pov um, for early crit gear and that will do the majority or all of your atlas you may take the odd death on horrible maps but you're easily going to get it done and this should not really cost a lot at all sell farm your own essences buy a few bases for maybe 20 to 30 c max for all of them i mean and then you go and get all your gear together and then you honestly don't need to think about doing anything until you want to start upgrading the build and then it's looking at things like what do i do next and the order i would do things next is keeping on lethal prides to see what they are the longer the league goes on the cheaper they're going to be same with the lion eyes jewel or cluster jewels just keep an eye on them to see uh, what sort of price they are if both those are still expensive then it might be time to start thinking about crafting your bow uh, which is covered in the written guide and that's going to take a fractured spine bow that's got big early damage they're realistically going to be one to two divines at least all the way through you're never going to get these very cheap and then even to craft them it's going to be four five six divines on top of that so farm plenty of currency because the bow is going to be expensive but once it's done you've got a very good bow that you can also use if you switch to a tornado shot or if you switch build completely like i'm going to do and go and do something else you can just sell that bow it will sell almost instantly if you price it correctly if you've got like you know a thousand elemental damage with crit chance and attack speed that's going to fly off the shelf as long as you price it competitively uh, that's it for this video i'll put all of these craft uh, trade searches in the video description just be aware this is standard you'll need to change it to the current league but you can just do that with the drop down menu here so you'd load up paste your filter in you go to here and then just click the mode that was currently running so it'll be affliction and then you search you can then resave it if you wanted to so you could change this it'll change your URL here and you can just copy that across if i get time i'll update the links in the video description but i've got a ton to do at league start so it may be that this is one of those things that kind of slips through the cracks that's it for the video i hope it's going to help some people who are maybe panicking about how to get their gear together i know it might be a bit too brief and quick for some people but i don't like making these videos too long i'm happy to answer any questions you've got either on twitch when we start streaming at league start or in the video comments below thank you very much for watching take care and see you in the next one